Hello, cheapskaters. Welcome to our channel. I'd like to introduce myself. Some of you will already know me, but some of you won't. I am Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing all the time. Let me give you some background. Most of you will already know this, but for the new viewers and the viewers, um, new Cheapskates Club members, indulge me as I just very quickly recap. A while back, I was living my dream. I had a husband, alive and who loves me, and we were blessed with two very happy, healthy little boys. We were buying our own home. We had plans to renovate it, to turn it into our forever home. And then disaster struck. In the space of three days, we both lost our jobs and we found out that baby number three was on her way. And we had a half a house because we'd started those renovations. My dream turned into a nightmare that lasted almost four years. If you want a more detailed version of that time, zip on over to the Cheapskates Club where the story is there in full. The upshot of not having an income for almost four years was we became cheapskaters. And I vowed to never, ever have an empty pantry, to not have clothes that fit my children, to not be able to maintain our lifestyle the way we wanted it to be. And ever since that time, I have looked to the future. Our pantry hasn't been empty since then. Now, I don't clothe my kids now. They're all grown up. And, you know, they sort of pretty much look after themselves. Thank you. I'm just getting a cup of tea here. But I would shop ahead and put things away for the future. We saved for the future so that whatever happened, we will be able to keep a roof over our heads, food on the table and clothes on our backs. So I'm not new to this lifestyle. I've been living it for 28 years. But I know what it's like to have to say no to going for coffee um, or not being able to go on a holiday. I know what it's like to not be able to get my hair cut, to have to stay home because we couldn't afford to waste the petrol in the car to go somewhere. I know what it's like to heat one room of the house all winter and have the entire family live in that room unless they were tucked up warm in bed. I know what it's like not to waste water or food or even washing powder. And I know how hard it is to pay the bills when money is tight, when there's not even five cents to spare in that budget. And I know what it's like to build a full pantry on that limited income, to cook meals that are not only nutritious but tasty too, because believe it or not, we like flavour in our food to find ways to give the gifts that I'd be thrilled to receive without spending money, to find new ways every week to lower the electricity or the gas bill. I know what it's like. I have lived it and survived it and learned a lot along the way. So when I'm talking about stockpiling or growing a garden or mending or preserving or shopping the sales or decorating on a shoestring or the $10 dinner party or the $5 birthday party, I am talking from experience. And today, I am still looking ahead and I am still preparing. And that's what you need to do now, especially. Things are going to get tough. You might think they're hard now. They're about to get harder. Already, people are selling their homes to get rid of the mortgage because they can't afford it. And we've only had three interest rate rises with more to come. This isn't scaremongering. I'm not trying to scare you. And I'll say it again. If anything I say scares you, you need to take a good hard look at your life and your lifestyle and ask yourself why you are scared. And the answer most likely is because you are not looking to the future and you are not preparing only you know what you have to do to be prepared. 
Only you can decide how deep you want your pantry to be. Only you can choose which debts to pay off. Only you. I can share our experiences and how we did things and I can answer your questions and offer suggestions, but only you can do the preparing. And yes, I am telling you to prepare for the future because we all need to be prepared. We all need to be responsible adults, parents, citizens, because like our state government announced a couple of weeks ago in a disaster, they simply don't have the emergency personnel to help everyone. And it could be at least three days, 72 hours minimum before help arrives. So if you've been thinking I've just jumped on the prepare bandwagon and I'm spouting off nonsense, think again. I've been preparing for 28 years and I've faced plenty of emergencies in that time and survived them. We came through the pandemic and the world's longest lockdown without any change to our lifestyle. We ate the same meals, paid our bills, lived our life and all because we were prepared. There was no panic buying. No worrying about pet food or medicines or even new clothes. We were and we are prepared. So that's my background. That's my story. That's my experience. And it's why I share through the Cheapskates Club and now our channel, because everyone can be prepared if they choose to be. If you like our channel, could you please help us by doing three simple things? Like, subscribe and share. Click the thumbs up, then the subscribe button and then the share button. These three things really help our channel grow and they make it easier to find. And the easier it is to find, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, but still possible even in today's crazy world. Thank you for watching and commenting. I read all comments and I do my best to answer your questions too. So until next time, happy cheapskating.